Hey guys, and welcome back to Bath City for the November month with me, Sol Campbell. Okay, no, it's me, NG Paradox, but yeah. Okay, now this month has gone pretty well. Again, we've managed to make money this month, so that was really good, actually. When it comes to our finances, we're looking a lot better this season than we were last season. I have to say, it was probably to do in part with the FA Cup run. One of our games, we managed to have 3,000 people at the match so that just shows you the potential this club could have they could get a lot more people with their bums in those seats but we're gonna have to wait and see if we can get our team to those heights but really happy to see that as you can see from the player stats right now Brendan Kiernan is doing very well lots of assists good average rating really good to see him come in it looks as though when Watkins leaves Kiernan is going to be able to step up to the plate and take that position. Really happy about that. Billy Murphy, some good passes there. And Fleetwood, obviously, top goal scorer. He's still got it. This season, he's still the man. At the moment, as you can see from the league, things are going okay. Things are going quite nicely. We're in the playoff positions, but everything is very tight at the moment. You can see up here with the position, we go second, third, second, third, fifth. Um, it's all very close. There's only four points between us and first place only five points between sixth and first place so everything is really tight right now hampton maidenhead borham wood weldstone us and east forrock and there's even a couple down here could kind of sneak in you know all these guys here like um from murfa oxford ebsfleet biller kai if that's how you pronounce it all these teams are really close so this is going to be a tight season i feel like and we're almost halfway through. We're already to 18 games in the season. Only three more, then we're halfway into the season. So a lot of games have been played already, and things are really tight. It, it's making me a little bit nervous that we could just suddenly miss out for no reason. But I think overall, I've been very happy with the team and the matches we've played so far. So just a quick look at the fixtures. Now, last time we were here, that was quite a while ago. We had a lot of games in the last month. It was against Western Supermare, a good 3-1 win for us. Very happy with that. After that, we played against Oxford City, and we drew one all. Obviously not what we would have liked to have seen, as you can see here. Um, we were just slightly maybe better than Oxford City, but as usual, it's always slightly. Um, that's what I've kind of noticed. They only had 290 people in attendance. So, you know, if, if we're looking bad for attendance, that looks terrible. Um, Andy Watkins scoring, I mean, he's still got it. I don't know what it is about him, but he's still got that little bit of finesse. Maybe a little bit less this season. I feel like he's definitely had it less this season, but he still has something about him. So, there we go. After that, we played against Aldershot in the FA Cup. Now, this game, it, it looks worse than it was. As you can see here, the attendance was 3,000 people at home for us so that was amazing that's a ridiculous amount of people and Aldershot are only one league above us they're only in the national league so it's not like they're like a massive team compared to us um obviously you know they probably do have quite a bit more reputation but still it's only one league above if we get into the next league maybe we might be financially secure uh brendan kinnan did score um until half time it was one all uh, Luke Whaley of their team scored, then Brendan Kiernan. Half time it was 1 all. They obviously were playing much better than us. They are a better team, of course. But the players seem to be dealing with the situation very well until the 73rd minute. And then Aldershot, after that, scored three goals. Um, so it looks much worse than it was for most of the game. But we weren't really expecting to win this game. It was just really nice to get that much attendance and that much cash in our pocket. So at least a good sign of things. After that, we played against Borham Wood. Um, and actually, going back to the last game, it was sad to leave the FA Cup because I said it could give us more money. But there's nothing we can do about that. After that, we played against Borham Wood. These obviously were a team that's been expected to probably walk the league, probably win it due to the fact they are a professional club. They came from the division above. But we managed to beat them 2-1. I was not expecting this. I was expecting us to kind of lose quite badly but we scored the first two goals Fleetwood scoring and Brendan Kinn sc scoring and we were making it 2-0 and then they managed to score to bring it back so we kind of went a bit more defensive 
so that way we could try and keep on to our win and it managed to work out so there we go nice little win for us there that keeping obviously them back as well. we kind of needed to win that if uh Boren would have won that they'd have gone three more points away from us but this allowed us to go ahead of them wellen came after and this was a very frustrating game as you can see they won 3-2 um shaquille hunter scored fleetwood scored we were winning 2-0 and then we completely collapsed and we lost 3-0 i don't know what it is about the second half we play much worse in the second half i'm very sure about it things never go away in the second half maybe i play too much attacking throughout the whole match maybe maybe i do it for too long I'm not sure, but it's usually the second half we fall apart, and uh, this was a great example of that. Overall, we were, I think, the better team. We really should have won this match. This was a, a big hit for us, so not much more to say about it. Don't want to kind of waste our time trying to think about what went wrong. we got to move on. After that, we played against Gosport at home, and we won 5-1. That was a really good game. It showed, obviously, that our team have good quality. And it allowed us to get a bigger goal difference, which obviously could be important, seeing as the team seemed very tight at the moment. This time we're getting 860 people into the stadium. So it feels like our fans are kind of increasing. Maybe through our recent results, we're getting more people coming in. Uh, Hunter actually scored a hat-trick. So you can see here, Hunter is really trying this season. And sadly, he's actually injured at the moment, which we'll talk about in a second, obviously. Fleetwood scored and Billy Murphy. After that, we played against Truro, and we lost 1-0. Another game where we really should have been winning. Look at that. It was a pretty piss-poor match. Um, nothing really happened. They managed to get one goal, and that won them the game. I think it was their first shot on target. We just couldn't seem to make anything of this game. 900 people in attendance of this match. You can see here, we're almost hitting that 1,000 mark. If we can hit that 1,000 mark, I feel like for every match, if we get that, that'll look really good. After that, we played against Murtha, and we drew two all. Again, a game I felt we should have been winning, but they played very well. It was a pretty even match. Brendan Kinnan scoring and Fleetwood scoring. Yeah, it's usually these two a lot of the time, so I'm very happy with how they're playing. Elliot Richards, though, with Murtha, I, I feel like I recognize him. I feel like I recognize I, I was playing the game, and I feel like I recognize him. Maybe I played a Bristol Rovers game. In 2014 or 13. That's pro probably Football Manager 2014 maybe. I must have played a Bristol Rovers save. Because I feel like I recognise him. Maybe Tranmere maybe? Cheltenham maybe? Maybe it was a Cheltenham game I did. I have no idea. But I definitely recognise him from at least a previous game. And he seems to be doing very well this season for them. Um, obviously they just came up from the league below. But they actually are doing very well. They're keeping up with the playoffs. And I think it possibly is partly down to him. He is their key player, and that's why I kind of noticed him. Um, I guess for you guys it might mean nothing, but I don't know, just something I was thinking about. Today, though, we have a first match of this month. Only three games this month, though. We're playing against St. Albans. So, St. Albans, you know, semi-professional. Uh, last season they came ninth, so they did okay last season. We shouldn't really, um, how do I put it? What am I trying to say? What am I trying to underestimate them? I hate that when you're trying to think of a word, it just leaves your head. So we've got to be careful with these guys. Um, when it comes to other things, I don't think anything else has really changed. Staff, do we bring any new players? No. Yeah, okay, nothing's really going on with transfers or anything. Okay, let's go into the game. I'm very happy that the team's playing, even if we had some bad results this month. I think we're actually playing quite well. We definitely should be, I think, getting a playoff position. If we don't, I'll be massively disappointed. This is our team for today. Uh, Hunter is injured for maybe 5 or 11 more days. He was actually injured for a few weeks originally. So it's really sad to have him out because he's been playing really well. But we brought Watkins in on the wing because obviously I think Watkins still has a bit about him. Um, Ashton has been playing really well. Um, not recently, but that's why we're putting Watkins in instead because obviously it is his last season here. He's going to retire. I want to give him that opportunity. Ashton, though, doesn't seem to be doing too badly. He's developing okay. You know, three stars now. Um, I'm quite happy with him. Only 16 years old. Can't wait to see what happens to him. Um, other than that, though, I think most things are the same. Aaron Barnes is playing very well, as you can see. Really nice to see a player we brought in play well. 
always good to see that as a manager. Other than that, yeah, things are just what you expect. Brendan Kinnan, a guy we also brought in, playing really well as well. Let's jump in. We're going to stay on attacking for this match. I feel we are a better team. I feel like when we attack, we do well, especially in the first half. That has to be said. In the first half, we normally do well. That's definitely something we have to keep in mind. I should try and try and rectify that. But here we go. We're playing quite a defensive game. I only find with defensive teams, we do quite well. From at least my recent experience in the last you know, couple of months of our team. Let's encourage them. Let's do calm. I expect to win today. Nothing much more. In fact, Fleet was looking a bit nervous. Maybe, I, maybe I'm being a bit too confident here. But here we go. We have to win this game. We're going to keep up the playoffs. If we lose this match, we could fall out of the playoffs. And when I say could... I would say it's very likely. Um, looks like everyone is playing today. Yeah, everyone's 19 right now. So I think everyone's playing in their matches. Villa K have just scored. That's not what we want. They can catch up to us. Barnes with a good ball up, but the defender there managed to get ahead to it. Is this going to be their highlight? Up to someone who I can't pronounce his name, Fio Pononibis. And then we've got Shomoten. Hannah? Is that Hannah? Really? It can't be Hannah, because there's normally a H at the end of Hannah. So is it Hannah? I, I'm not sure. I hate trying to pronounce that. <laughs> I hate trying to pronounce names sometimes, because it feels like you're going to offend people if you say it wrong. And obviously, you're just trying to do your best to pronounce it. If you've not heard a word before, you just want to try and do your best. It's always kind of uh, annoying. Oh, God, good job there, ball. Okay, yeah, do a simple pass back. Nothing too special. Don't try and, you know, do anything too silly. Watkins with the magic feet there. I... <sighs> okay. I, I think it's definitely, we can definitely say with certainty, Watkins has lost his magic feet this season. He's now just too old. Fleetwood, though, really nice ball to Fleetwood from Brendan Kin and just not a great finish. Artis with the ball in. Ah, nothing from that. There, Chapman's going forward. Can our defender get it? Good job, Barnes. See, I really like Barnes, actually. I think Barnes has come in. Took him a couple of games maybe to get used to the team. But since then, I've really liked his performances. Encouraged them. You can still win today. Let's go. Try your best, guys. That's all I can ask. That's all I can ask of you. Okay, Chapman. Chapman always seems to have the ball for their team. But yeah, just the uh, halftime highlights. We've got eight shots so far, four on target. Not That's not too bad. It could be much worse. Four, I think, is okay. Fleetwood now with the ball. Come on, Fleetwood. You know had a great game so far. Kiernan. Okay, they've got a lot of defenders surrounding them. Fleetwood. There we go. We've managed to finally break them down. They're playing quite defensively, but there goes Fleetwood. I don't know what it is. But he always just manages to find a way. Don't you, Fleetwood? You can always just sneak in. He's always either a little bit faster than someone or is a little bit better intelligence than them. I don't know what it is. He's just okay at everything, basically. That works out for me. Uh, Dan Ball's looking a bit tired. I think we should probably take him off for uh, Tom Smart. There you go. And then, we'll keep everyone the same. Everyone seems to be quite happy. Everyone seems to be calm. They don't seem to be getting many shots against us. Definitely not on target, either. I'm going to keep on attacking. <laughs> I'm going to regret saying that, aren't I? Keeping on attacking, because I feel like we're controlling the game because we're attacking. They don't get a chance to score against us. And is that a penalty? Charlie Rowan pulling the back of Fleetwood, I guess. That's what it looked like happened. And Fleetwood fell to the ground. Come on, Fleetwood. You've scored quite a few penalties, actually, in the last two seasons. Get another one, my man. There we go. And we just... <laughs> it just jumped out the game. Okay. My man. Good job, Fleetwood. I apologize for that. I said before, I don't want it to spend my computer at the moment. It just keeps sometimes randomly just jumping off the game. But we have 841 people in attendance of this match. This could be... Oh, please don't give them an opportunity here. I don't want to be 1-0 up with only 10 minutes to go. Let's keep it 2-0 up. Shomoten! Walk... Oh, no. This is exactly why I hate. I told you the second half. I mean, we scored, but we always let goals in in the second half. Ah, they're not actually that far when it comes to shots against. I'm going to have to play defensively, aren't I? I can't let this go by. Uh, Kim, we go in for them. 
Let's take off. Let's take off Kin and for Ash. Ash. Neither of them can really play on that side. I'd have to take off Watkins for Ashton. We could change a defender, but the defender's been pretty good. Let's change Watkins then. And we'll keep Fleetwood on, yeah. I could have put Watkins up front, but we're going to keep Fleetwood on because he's one goal away from a, a hat trick. So let's just keep him on. I'm going to go defensive. Let's try and frustrate them. They're playing quite defensive. They might be playing counter at the moment. So maybe it might be best if I go a bit defensive. Plus, though, in the last few minutes, they need to win, obviously. They've got nothing to lose. They might as well just go attack. That's probably what, say, albums are thinking. They're thinking, we have to go attack. If we go a bit more defensive. Oh, look at that. Fleetwood. Oh, that's it. Just waste time. Just play with the ball. Keep the ball. Waste that time. Artist there. Barnes. Is he going to do something? Can you see an opening? No, he cannot. Kim losing the ball. There's only 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And it's game, set, and match to Bath. Good job, guys. Solid win. Really happy for you to get that. It means we can keep up with the leaders of the league. And again, it just... I don't know what's going on today. There we go. So after that match, we stay in fifth, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> I guess all the other teams won their games as well, but we're only two points away from Hampton and Richmond who won first place. It's so close at the moment. This league is ridiculous. Even East Forrock are just one point behind us. So this could go any way. Goal difference might be key here. Hampton and Richmond only have a five-goal difference. So they might start falling down the league. Maybe they've not been playing as well as they think. Uh, maybe they've just been getting lucky. Dan Ball, though, our captain, our key player, is injured for four to five weeks. No. I'm just going to leave him to the physio. That is a shame. Yeah, he is our key player at the moment. Very sad to see him in this state. Finances. Three, look at that, 3,000. It's looking good. Going from you know, minus 60 to minus 3,000 in just a few months. I'm really happy about this. Hopefully we can continue to get our finances up. But that is a shame about that. Dan Ball. Dan Ball has just been a stalwart. You know, he never really is the main man. He just, I think he just as well as the leader. He's just the silent leader, maybe. That's a quick look what's going on for this month. Uh, we've got only two more games this month. We've got... Uh, Billake, which is going to be a big match, I think, because they're in ninth. They're quite high up. After that, we've got the FA Trophy. We've got Concord. Possibly, if we go further than the FA Trophy, that could be a chance to get more attendance, maybe, if we play some higher league teams. Obviously, just be the National League um, and National League South and North. So, it's not many big teams, but they'll be the National League teams. Maybe if we can play them, might get a bit more attendance. We'll be back, though, in December against Dartford. And that game actually will be... I think halfway through the season. So that game against Darford will be officially the halfway mark of the season. So it'll be nice to see where we are at that point. I remember last yeah, last year, I think, we played against Dartford in December as well for the first game. So interested next to them again. Then we got those same games from the start of the season, Ebbsfleet, Wildstone, Eastbourne. So it'll be fun to see how this goes. I'm really excited though. I'm loving the team right now. Things are just going well. I just it's really nice when things come together at the moment, but like I say, it's still a bit tight. A little bit nervous about that, but I really do think our team has what's in them. I just, hopefully I'm not hyping them too much. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.